Hi, I'm Lake County Board Chairman Aaron Lawler. We're here in North Chicago to learn about how our Stormwater Management Commission is using a drone technology to be more efficient and effective in what they do. And here with us is uh, Neil with SMC. Welcome. Hi, thank you. Well, if you can maybe start by telling us uh, where we are and uh, what this site does. Okay, so we're here in North Chicago and um, this site here is a flood storage site that we have excavated now to hopefully improve the storage for the Skokie River sub-watershed. And so with the excavation, we have to go through and use a GPS unit like this. We used to use this unit for, so that we could go and see what the topography was so we could make sure that the elevations were correct and make sure that there's enough dirt that was according to plan and things like that. So when we plant it, back to a wetland, it's everything is to spec and we know how much flood water we could potentially mm -hmm. store in here before it gets to the river. Okay. So with this GPS, it used to take us, you know, it would take about two hours to walk this site. It's about three acres. Mm -hmm. So now we can fly a drone over the site, take photos and get the same topography and the flight takes five minutes. Exactly. So this is a, a big improvement for uh, our efforts to try and mitigate uh, flooding. Uh, obviously in July we just saw a record flood. Yeah, so talk a little bit about that and kind of what you did, um, maybe in a little bit more detail and how um, this record flood really hit everywhere. So there was a lot more damage assessment to do. Um, people might get a little squeamish when they see a drone. Yeah. Um, talk a little bit about that. So what we used it for was um, basically as a safety protocol. We we were sent to places that we could not physically get to, to where people were literally having to take boats to their homes. And you know, it was where if you were walking through the water, you didn't know if there was debris, if there was an open sewer lid or anything like, like that, which is why we tell people don't drive through the water and don't walk through the water if you don't have to. So we were sent to go fly the drone over it and see what the damage extents were, if, and, you know, maybe if somebody needed help, um, anything. You know, but we were able to fly over it you know, um, document where the waters were and then call back to the office and say, okay, this is what our mapping is showing. Mm -hmm. It's accurate in the field. And so we did that in the Fox, we did that in Displains, we did that countywide and we were flying where, where basically people couldn't get to. Uh, well, tell me a little bit more about what we're gonna do today. So today what we're gonna do is we're going to set up a flight. Um, it kind of flies like a lawnmower pattern so that it gets mm -hmm. full pictures of the site. And what that will do is it'll not only show us the condition of the site, so instead of having to walk through all the mud and the water, we'll be able to fly it, see the pictures live on mm -hmm. the iPad. And then um, we can go, and afterwards, we'll go back into the office and it actually will create topography of the wow. site. Very cool. Well, yeah. let's get to it. Okay, so everything is flown um, via the controller connected to the iPad. So there's a built-in application that comes with the drone that we use to fly, set up flights, um, you know, even see how um, the battery levels um, and all that type of stuff and see our GPS signal. So it's just like a typical controller. I mean, even like a video game controller, you have two exactly. sticks. Um, you have forward, backward, strafe, and then this is kind of turning the head of the drone uh, left and right, mm -hmm. and then this is your your altitude. In order to take off, it's like opening it's like opening a smartphone. You hit a button and you hit slide to take off, <laughs> and it takes there we off. Go. So um, I'm gonna go and and do one of our other flights that we had set up before, um, and it's it's. It's basically a matter of hitting play. Wow. Um, so it'll load up here. Um, you can see on, mm -hmm. the, on the screen. Um, All right. Here we are. There's, there's the little drone. It shows where we are. And then there's our spot is the blue dot. And it says um, start and then end. So okay. now just push start. All right. And there Whoa. it goes. Hey, -o. look at that. So this mission is set to go at 300 feet. Okay. Um, and so, which is you know, 100 feet below our ceiling, and it will start a little bit to the south of us, and it's going to fly what they call a lawnmower grid, and it's just going to go down and back and down and back, and then 
when it's done, it'll come and land right back where we took off. So you should give it a name. Yeah, well, we actually do. It's part of the FAA registration, and so the one we're flying today, we're called is uh, SMC two. Okay. Um, and the reason why it's SMC two is because we had SMC one, <laughs> and during flood response, actually the last day before the rivers came down out of minor flood stage, mm -hmm. it had a, a hardware failure and the GPS wouldn't work anymore, so we had to send it back to the company and um, we got it refurbished. And so this one came back to us and it's huh. SMC2. Well, uh, let's go in and take a look at the footage. All right, sounds All right. good. All right, well, we're back in the Stormwater Management Commission office to see the information that we collected and kind of what it means. Yes, yeah, so um, after the flight, we're able to bring the images into our software. And up here we have the flight path as the orange line, and we have all the blue dots or all the photos that it took. And so we can use this as reference to make sure we had enough photos, good coverage and everything. And with the software back in the office, we're actually able to stitch all the photos together, um, and we can get an aerial photograph mm -hmm. of, of what it is. And mm -hmm. So we're able to use the current aerial imagery in order to see exactly what it looks like now. And then from that, the key thing that we're able to produce are new contours. Here wow. we have the new contours of the graded site and we're able to look and see that here was this high berm to the south and then Here's another contour and it's going down and it's kind of sloping into this area so that it's a bowl so that it holds water. And in order to produce something like this before, I actually have some old surveys that we did. We had to take all of these pink dots and this isn't even the whole site. We're missing this northwestern wow. corridor here. And there's over a hundred points here. And mm -hmm. so to it takes about 10 seconds to shoot one point. So if you shoot, you know, it adds up pretty fast. <laughs> You got to walk through the mud and everything, shoot a point, walk through the, and then bring that back in, process the contours that way. So we're able to do this all automated. We're able to get an aerial. We're able to get contours. We're able to get mm -hmm. um, very accurate G GPS information. And then we can share this out too. If anybody needed to see it, we can share it with people right through the program. Well, thank you so much for showing me around today. It really wasn't all that dirty, but I guess that's the whole point, you know, to utilize uh, technology to make it less dirty and more efficient. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, and have a great day.